Hello everyone, welcome back to Force Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. So in the last video, I have discussed about the record level security, and today we will going to discuss about the object level security. Okay, so if in simple words I say object level security is the way to control the data access. So here the uh, Salesforce admin can control the access like create, view, edit, delete for the users or a group of users. Like suppose if a particular user is not having the delete access for a object on the object level security, then this user will not be able to create uh, delete the record of this particular object. So there are two ways to set up this object level security for the user. One is the profile and another is the permission setting. So from both of these uh, way, we will going to give the permission and give access to particular settings in the object level security. So let's discuss one by one both of them. Okay, first we'll move to the profile. So from here, we will be redirect to the profile setup. And here, as you can see, there are the different profiles which are created or which are some of them are the standard profiles which are given from the Salesforce. So now let's first open the system admin and the standard users also. And we'll see what's the difference between them and what are the permissions we can provide to our users from the profiles. Okay, so here the very first come is the page layout. So these are the page layout which uh, are present on the standard object. So from here we can assign or we can adjust the permissions for the standard page layouts. Then again for the custom object layouts, the custom object page layouts which we have created, we can manage their permissions from here. Now the next come is the field level security. So from here we can manage the field access and next from the custom object so here the custom app settings so this the uh, here we will decide which app should be visible or for this profile and which are not okay so some of them are the default which are always visible and the next comes like this service provider access then the tab settings so which tab should be visible for this profiles so we can also manage from the profiles only okay and the next these are the custom tab and the record type settings so the different record types which we create or which are standards so their access is also managed on the profiles and scrolling down so here are the permissions uh, like the ma way to manage the apis bulk apis manage the prompts and etc for all these permissions are managed here in the profile itself then again next comes another permissions like to manage the flows to manage the cases and also here are the general permissions user permissions which are also managing here only okay next so here next comes is the uh, standard object permission so as this is the system admin profile so by default the system admin is having complete access like all view all and modify all access so he can do anything whatever he want and the system admin will manage for permissions for the other profiles too which is assigned to different uh, users okay so next is the session settings like a uh, 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 automatic timeout after this much of inactivity okay then the password policies are also managed from here then the login hours and the login ip ranges from here we can uh, limit it to or restrict the users to log in beyond this IP address and if he wants to log in then he need to verify the code then here the option to enable the apex custom uh, to enable the apex classes access like suppose if I have created any functionality and the functionality has the is the apex classes and if the I want this user uh, profile is also have access to this uh, functionality then i need to provide the apex classes vf pages permissions on the profiles so the user can use the functionality okay similarly we have the another permissions like like the flow access we can manage here custom setting definitions are managed from here so everything would also uh, from basically from the profiles we will decide what a user can do in the salesforce org okay and the system admins are the one who decide this so now next uh, let's see the standard user profile too so this is the standard user profile okay so here the different permission and the access which can give will be the same but 
the difference between system admin and the system uh, standard user is the system admin is already having complete access that is he is the admin and the standard user is having the limited access for the object record type space layout apps tabs and all okay and like here are the objects so as you can see limited objects are only having the permission but again neither of the object is having the view all and the modifier all access okay so these permission are so as this is the standard user profile so this is the profile which is already present in our salesforce so these profiles cannot be edited like if i want to enhance the access or want to give more access on this profile then i need to clone it or i need to use the permission sets and assign to this particular user which is having the standard user profile so custom object uh, access are not there on for this standard user profile like uh, here i have a custom object for Cal force galaxies and for this object i also uh, want to give the access for on this profile but as this is the standard for profile i cannot edit it so what i will do i will create a permission set and uh, add the force galaxy permissions in this permission set and assign to the user or i need to clone this profile so if for all the users i need to give the access for the force galaxy then i will directly clone this profile and create a new and assign this and provide this permission of force galaxies on this profile and use for the users okay now let's see the permission sets also so this is the uh, second method from where we manage the data access for the users so let's open any one of the permission sets from here so from the permission sets also we are able to manage and provide the access and the permissions the same as we provide on the profiles so the difference is on the permission sets are used to enhance the access for the users okay so like if i have two different users with the same profile then for but on the profile the access will be remain same for both the user but for the one of the user i want more access to be given for particular objects or for particular record types then for this our permission sets come in picture and will provide our extra permissions on this permission sets so like suppose i have opened this account uh, object here and the same permission i have here that is i can provide the tab settings from here with whether it, the tab should be visible or not i can manage the read write create view all modify all access and the field permissions also for this object which fields to be visible or which should uh, he can uh, edit which fields we all can manage from the permission sets okay so here are the other settings like the custom settings definition flows access and all assigned apps will be managed from here then we have this manage assignment from where we will add our users to which we want to assign this permission set so we can select our user and click on this assign button it will be assigned to the user and the access will be enhanced so these are the methods from where we can set up our object label security and provide permission and the settings to and decide what a user can do in a salesforce so using this object label security so uh, there are some points which need to be known like in the object label security the standard profiles which we have they cannot be edited like the permission they already have we cannot in, uh, edit their access object access so if we want to perform any or we want to give an object uh, access on this standard profile then we need to clone them and then we can give the access on the objects okay so the next is always a user can have maximum one profile assigned to him and a multiple permission set so okay so profile is the one here where the most restrictive access we can provide or it is the baseline of the object level security and to enhance the permission so we can use we use the uh, permission sets so where will uh, this uh, this is something permission sets are also are same as of the profiles but they are used just to enhance the access okay like suppose i have two users a and b and both are assigned with the same profile but for another user i want more access to be given for a particular object like uh, on the profile they are not having the delete access of any uh, object but for one of the user i want this access to be provided so instead of creating another profile for such a small chain what we will do we will create a permission set and in this permission set i will enhance the functionality i will enhance the access of this object 
like I will, on this object I will get uh, add the delete functionality also delete access also and assign this permission set to this user. So now this user will have five access also plus the permission set access. Okay. So hope you guys uh, uh, get an idea about the object level security. Let me know if you have any question. We will meet you soon in the next video.